11. start from Andrachik though that's a huge effort from her now 25 years of age oh, waiting for confirmation of the distance but it looks a big one not just from what we saw with that shot from the rear of the throw 71-40 my goodness, you couldn't have believed that was going to happen. Well, that is a championship record. Oh, so Andrzejczyk, after passing her second round attempt, the new Polish record holder, number two on the European list, number three on the world list, championship record holder. The superlatives are just tripping off. So what can Maria Anderchuk do after that last throw? And all eyes on her. Just look at that. Everybody clapping. Well, her last look, throw looks so effortless. And that's another very good throw indeed. But it drops down about 65 meters. Maria Still better Adrian than anybody else has forward. produced. The best result. 71.40 after this oh. attempt. That gold mark is the championship record. We're waiting for results. That's still an excellent performance. Let alone after that 71.40. 65.24. So still a good couple of meters better than anybody else has done. Now Maria Anderchuk. That's another huge, 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 huge effort. Oh, that's another massive effort. I think that's coming down at around 69 meters. Well, where has she found this form from? What has she been doing during the winter? Sixty-nine. 68. Now, the final throw of Maria Andrzejczyk, who really has surprised everybody with that massive throw of 71.40 in the first round. Backed it up with over 69 meters in the fourth. Now, not quite as far this time. Gets. A white flag just drops down just shy of 60 meters. It was two absolutely magnificent throws and congratulations from her coach. That's a couple of throws that are going to be replayed around the world because suddenly Maria Andrzejczyk interview because this was maybe the most shocking result and performance of the whole uh, event or maybe about the whole season so uh, can you tell us your your feelings after the result um hopefully not the whole season but wow i feel right now i feel overwhelmed i don't know what to say honestly because uh, okay i was expecting something but 71 Shit. <laughs> I mean, it feels great to uh, open the season with such a result, but I hope there is more to come. Of course, now we have to head back home and do a lot of hard work because uh, we still have Olympics, right? So I'm happy to finally compete, compete with the girls. Uh, I'm so happy to be here. So you didn't uh, even shock the audience, but you also shocked yourself. Yes, of course. I, I did not expect such a result, uh, as I said. Uh, I mean, I had good throwing sessions previously in April, but uh, I, I didn't expect that, honestly. <laughs> but we know you since some time, because in uh, Rio Olympics, you already were attacking gold medal and losing it only by two centimeters. So uh, you were the big 
big hope and big star already at the time. So what was going on after Olympics? Can you tell us a little bit more? Uh, yes, after the Olympics, I had a shoulder injury. It is, I think, probably the worst injury for javelin thrower. But it's, it's a javelin. We have to deal with a lot of injuries. Uh, it was a very difficult injury, and uh, I had a long time of rehab, recovery. Uh, I was just afraid uh, after the operation to throw. Uh, so it just had took time. Uh, now I'm back, I'm here, uh, I'm finally enjoying each throw, so I think it's, it is the most important for me. I did a lot of hard work. Uh, aside from the shoulder surgery, I had three different surgeries and all of different health problems, so I'm really proud of myself right now. Uh, it's, it's, it's good to be here. But even uh, in 2019, even the last year, you managed uh, over 65 meters, if, I'm, if, I, if I know well. And uh, of course, uh, now you're the third woman of the history. So it's amazing for you. Yes, yes it is. But as I said, uh, now I have to focus on hard work uh, because I have a, a lot of different competitions. Uh, to compete in, so uh, I don't care about the result, it's all after me, so right now I have to focus on ju ju just the job. Uh, after Rio, you said in some interviews that now it's time to um, make a revenge to Barbara Spotakova for this, <laughs> for these I two centimeters. I was young and stupid and full of anger uh, at that time, but uh, uh, I really respect Barbara, she's the, like truly my uh, role model. Uh, someone uh, to to watch. Uh, I truly love her uh, throws, so I'm just I'm just happy to compete with Barbara once again, and I, and I wish her a lot of help this but, year. But breaking the world record and taking it from her, that can be kind of revenge. I know, but I don't think right now about the world record. Uh, I think about the hard work that I need to do before the Olympics. Uh, talking about the competition today, you were throwing in the second uh, stadium, which was. Not the main one, of course, but uh, you managed to cope with the conditions very well. Uh, honestly, I really liked the run-up, uh, which we had, and the weather was great. We had a very uh, good wind for throwing, so I was like a bit... Um, I think that uh, wind helped me a bit with that throw, but, but still, the result is, is great. Can you tell us a little bit more about your preparation for this, uh, maybe for the whole season or for this cup? Because, uh, you know, it, the throw was really just stunning, stunning, so. Uh, the preparation, uh, it was the first year since the Olympics, uh, which I prepared with no injuries, with no health problems, finally, because in previous years, I had a lot of health problems, smaller, bigger uh, health struggles. So this year I, I uh, realized the whole training program, each cycle was a big success. So I'm just happy that I finally did the whole work with no problems. And I think that was the main key to achieve such a great result. <laughs> was this like the 100% uh, throw or you still feel something you can show even, even something more? Uh, it, was a, it was a really good throw. I mean, I put my whole self into that throw. Uh, but I still know that I uh, can work, especially on the run-up, uh, probably the left leg. Uh, there are still things to, uh, to fix, uh, so uh, me and my coach will be working on it, hopefully. Uh, you have also your boyfriend here with you, so <laughs> is it a big help, uh, like yeah. mental help? <laughs> um, it is and it's not, but I'm happy to have him uh, with me today. It's, uh, it's a great support. What is your next plan, like uh, next competitions, uh, what are you going to do? Uh, now a short camp in uh, Spawa in, in Poland, and then Ostrava, then one meeting in Spain. And uh, I end this month with uh, a team, a uh, champi European championship in Horzów. So I'm, I'm so happy and I can't wait to compete there once again. Some people were asking me, like, uh, what is your favorite dish and your favorite food, food before competition or uh, in general? Uh, well, <laughs> I like a lot of food, <laughs> but before the competition, I don't like to eat a lot. I mean, the breakfast is all I need. Uh, like, I don't know, something sweet or scrambled eggs, like savory things. Uh, but mostly, I just love my mom's meals, and that's all. <laughs> so now she has a, a, there's a Mother's Day today, so. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so, yeah, so she had to prepare something good for me right now. Thank you very much, dziękuję bardzo and enjoy this great result. Dziękuję bardzo.